In the previous video, we have talked about the idealistic rational model of organizational decision making. In this video, we are going to build on this knowledge and we are going to discover the Carnegie model, which is a pretty realistic and nice model. And it really can give you an idea of how organizations and how managers are making decisions. So we are going to see, we are going to compare these two models. And then as well, we are going to discover three new terms, satisfying, bounded rationality and dominant coalition but of course these are going to come on our way so let's begin with comparing these two so under the rational model all information was available and decision making was costless however under the Carnegie model there is limited information available and decision making is costly well this makes a lot of sense we cannot know everything about the world we can just know only limited information and of course when we are searching for the information imagine you are a manager when you are searching for the information about let's say a particular supplier or or particular manufacturing problem you are not going to search for a weather uh, uh, forecast but you are going to search for some some problem specific information so some problem specific and you are doing this search uh, and and this decision making is again going to be uh, limited because it's costly so again the decision making is limited to a problem specific uh, characteristics and now we are getting to the first term which is pretty interesting it's called the satisfying limited information searches to identify problems and alternative solutions so you are not trying to grasp all the information that is out there you are trying to grasp only the information that is sort of relevant for you so that you sort of satisfy uh, uh, the need for the search of the information because it's costly of course so let's move further under the rational model the decision making was value free which means it is not affected by any individuals or or personal preferences however under carnegie model decision making is affected by preferences well imagine that there are five managers who are going to make some sort of decision of course all of them have had some experience maybe some of them had bad experience some of them had positive experience now these experience are going to result into preferences and of course each of them is going to have different preferences so that's why the decision making is going to be affected by these now the full range of possibilities is generated of course, this is not possible. Only a limited range of alternatives is generated. Now we are getting to the second idea, which is the bounded rationality. This is the limited capacity to process information. So imagine yourself, you cannot understand everything. Your mind just biologically is, is not capable of, of you know, processing limitless amounts of information. You have just a limited capacity. So again, you are trying uh, uh, to sort of specify yourself to the particular problem or issue that you are trying to solve. And so you are just going for a limited range of alternatives. Then we have under the rational model, solution is chosen by an anonymous agreement, which would mean that everyone in the organization would have to agree to the same solution. Of course, in reality, a solution is chosen by compromise and bargaining. And here we are getting to the third idea, which is the dominant coalition. This is the collection of managers or stakeholders who have the power to decide which solution is chosen. So of course no one uh, or no organization uh, operates in such way that everyone would agree to the, to the same solution. Always there are some dominant coalitions of stakeholders or managers who will make the decision. Now the final statement, we have said that this is very strong and and very tricky to say under the rational model solution chosen is best for organization but in reality a solution chosen is satisfactory for organization you just try to satisfy all your organizational stakeholders to at least minimum extent uh, with the decision you make so that was the Carnegie model and at least in my mind I always like to compare it with the idealistic rational model